you're watching America Trends. I am Mary Burke Godwin. I'm excited to meet our next guest. He is the CEO of Barra Agency, which helps entrepreneurs and businesses grow through the development of autom automations that streamline systems, eliminate the mundane, we all want that, and remove the barriers for scaling the mission. Okay, basically it saves you time and money. All the ways you can save time and money for your business. You gotta meet this guy, Justin Benson, CEO of Barra Agency. Welcome to America Trends. Thanks so much for having me, Mary. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. I'm so excited. I mean, look, everything that I was just reading, everybody wants <laughs> this for their business. You want to streamline your activity. And so this is great. So talk to me about, first of all, how did you get your start? Yeah, I mean, the start, the quick story of it was uh, a biochemistry degree, which I use none of these days. <laughs> so, in, Perfect. In, instead, of becoming a, instead of becoming a doctor, I started a tech company with my good friend building cloud storage, which was a lot of fun. We sold that and then uh, started building fundraising cloud company. Building cloud storage? Cloud storage, yeah. Oh, that's cloud like the worst storage. decision okay. I ever uh, made because we were essentially building Dropbox at 19 years old back in the day. <laughs> and we sold it really early to a local technology company. So uh, that was our first foray into tech anyways. So, well, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got basically dovetailing forward essentially I've had a lot of business experience growing businesses from like ground zero all the way to the top with this a uh, little bit of a nerd heart in me the uh -huh. entire time. Like technology just fascinates me. It's, it's just been always something that like it's what keeps me up at night. I love researching it. Um, you know, I'm the guy that buys the new gadget right away. Um, and this whole bar agency thing really came to fruition uh, because I had built a couple big successful real estate companies and I did not know that it was not common practice for businesses just to, if the business, if the technology didn't exist, well, if I was an owner, we just built it. And if the integrations between softwares didn't exist or didn't fit us, then yeah, I don't know, we just built our own. And I found out that that is not commonplace in the business world at most. And I was living in my own little bubble. So uh, we essentially launched a fractional CTO company for, in the very beginning, it was large real estate companies and uh, brokerages because they need a CTO, but they're not a technology company. They don't, it's not full-time work, you know. Um, so they you know, maybe need 40, 60, 80 hours a week for, uh, worth of CTO help, and mm -hmm. our agency became their onboard onboarded CTO. So that's it's pretty awesome because you know I do know businesses of any size need to have streamlined practices, need to have ways in which their employees communicate. Let's say Slack is one thing, you know, mm -hmm. one way. But do you need it for the size company you have? We have it for probably eight people, but I do think it, it's worth it. But probably you could come in and tell us differently. Uh, but, you know, then there's uh, task management, right? And then C yeah. CR CRM. So do you come in and kind of analyze all the different ways in which businesses are working and say, you could probably lose that platform, but why don't you integrate this instead? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple, three-stage process, basically. Uh, you know, step number one, streamlining systems, which is everything you're talking about. But let's make sure that the core softwares that we've chosen can scale to the place that that company wants to scale to. Um, so that way we don't have to do anything pretty catastrophic to the foundational layer once they're at a larger size as far as companies. So it's much easier to do that on the front end. Um, and then stage number two, once we kind of get done doing all of that, getting rid of a bunch of double entry stuff is that tagline in the middle, eliminate the mundane, it's the, I guess, corny tagline of our company. Uh, that really gets into like task automation. Like how do we get all of, great companies are built with great people, uh, not great technology uh, in the very beginning, right? Um, and then the great people are so great at what they do, they get really busy and the tidewater gets higher and higher and higher. Yeah. And the way that you can help bring that tidewater down is using technology to do that. So at that second stage, it, it really comes into how do we get as many of the tasks off of the humans so the humans can get back to the human side of business, connecting with people. Like mm -hmm. that's the real big why. A lot of our clients tend to be service oriented industries, right? So getting them back to engaging with clients, knowing them on a much more personal level, opposed to being so hair on fire busy that they can't give that kind of personal touch. And then stage number three is really the longevity of our relationship with our clients. You know, in the industries we operate in, uh, we are not just the best solution in most cases, but also the most economical solution to keep around because they don't have 40 hours a week worth of this kind of work. So right. why hire it full time? And we get into all kinds of fun stuff like 
machine learning algorithms that read contracts and get rid of all data entry and even utilizing the new little chat GPT, the open AI system that's on the back end of that to do a bunch of really cool content creation stuff and automating that whole thing so it kind of works invisibly in the background and really making sure that whatever that business owner comes up with, whatever the next dream is, that technology isn't the thing that stops them from going after it. God, I have so many questions for you. So you can actually help if you can see what the problem is and say, I can create and automate that for you in you know a, a, a platform that you would create almost just specific to the business? Yeah, I mean, there are some things that make sense to have custom and some things that don't make sense that to have custom. That already exist. Yeah, probably don't go out and try to build Salesforce or HubSpot. Right. <laughs> you know, like they've they've done they've done a good job at yeah. that already. You know, or don't build Monday. So okay, this may be a mundane question, but it, it it I always have this question with things like in my former place of business, we used ClickUp as a task management. Yeah. I know there's many of them, and in the beginning, it took a lot of time to input the information and get everyone on board with how to use it. But then once we were up and running with it, it was re I felt like it saved us time after the kind of immediate or the time they had to take to invest there was a lot of you know time up front so what do you feel about stuff like that and task management systems the funny thing with task management systems is i love them because if you're going to create repeatable processes that you know any business if you don't have repeatable processes and systems you don't really own a business you just have a a job because if you walk away the business doesn't work without you anymore right so mm -hmm. uh, task management solutions like asana and ClickUp and monday they kind of force companies to create standard operating procedures, which is the like non-glamorous part of uh, building a business, right? Yeah. Uh, and that's really your system, like your operating system of a degree of your uh, business. And system, when I, when I speak about it, systems are different than technology. System is the way that you execute on whatever that process is, you know, like how do you guys execute on onboarding a guest onto the show? That, that checklist is your system. And then you just use you to find the right task management solution. You just go from there and use that standard operating procedure to then find which technology actually helps you execute the fastest on that system. And so that standard mm. operating procedure kind of becomes your guiding star. And a lot of the times that stuff gets housed in, an Asana or a ClickUp or anything like that to execute on. My, my wheels are spinning on all the ways you could probably help us around here at our studio because we try to, you know, come to the come up with the newest ways of getting everyone on on task and on the same page. But it, it's challenging when you have people doing all sorts of different jobs. But that's why we need you. Uh, so people can find you at Justin Benson on Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram, I don't know. I had a PR company tell me I need to post more automation stuff. You're going to get a lot of my kids and family on there. But if you go to justbaragency.com and, you know, uh, set a consultation, that would be the best way to track and me down. Are the consultations with you or you have other people that take those? Those initial consultations are actually all, all with me. So I'm a bit of the, the doctor, the diagnostician on the team over here. So I love And it. I really enjoy that stuff. I, I, I don't really... As, as long as I can go without severely crippling our company, bottlenecking it with just me, you know, yeah. uh, I'm going to keep doing that. Well, stuff. that's pretty awesome. You're the face of the company, which is amazing. So thank you so much for your time, Justin. I love this concept. Barra Agency, barraagency.com. And you're watching America Trends. Stick around for more right after this quick break.